for several decades now. Selling SUVs to Americans has been about as easy as peddling ice-cold lemonade on a hot summer day. But not for Volkswagen. VW introduced its first SUV, the Touareg, in 2003, and followed up with the smaller taken a few years later. Neither caught on. Over 14 years, VW has sold fewer than 400,000 copies of those two models in total. For perspective, consider that Honda sold almost 360,000 CR versus just last year. VW now seems to be overcompensating with the new for 2018 Atlas. While the somewhat unconventional Tiggin and Touareg were always too expensive and too, well, European to have wide appeal here, the Atlas aims directly at the American style three-row crossover bullseye. Its name sounds appropriately adventurous, and easy to pronounce, it's massive, with a nearly 200-inch length that makes for a cavernous seven-seat interior, and it looks blocky and trucky, somewhat similar to the Ford Explorer, the current snail's leader. Room galore. Unlike the space-inefficient Ford, the VW has a squared-off shape that pays dividends inside. The Atlas's interior is airy and open, with oodles of room for legs, feet, and elbows in all three rows. Seven seats are standard courtesy of a three-seat second-row bench and a two-place third row, while a $625.